making a chai spice snack mix. This is something I take with me when I travel, but during the holidays, it is great to take to a potluck, it is great to serve at your own parties, and even to give as gifts, and we'll show you how to do that. I love that. Yeah. to the Good Vibes Cooking Show. I am super excited because it is holiday time here in my kitchen, and I'm also really excited because I have one of my dearest friends with me today. So Deanne Marie is with us, and she is here all the way from Chicago, Illinois. Yes. And in my happy kitchen in California. Very happy kitchen. How's our weekend been? Fantastic. Lots of girl time, which is the best. Girl time is the best. Yes. And so shopping. Shopping is great. <laughs> <laughs> so. We are super excited to be doing this for you um, as a team, but what I'm really excited about is this is not my recipe. So this is actually Deanne's recipe yes. that she has been using because she has changed her eating um, to being very clean in the last probably two years, right? Right. And what has that done for you? It has done so much. My energy is off the charts. I mean, you know me from way back when, and I went through kind of a slump with my energy, which was very lethargic, not a lot of get up and go, and since I cleaned up my diet, changed so much about my life, my energy has come back, I think tenfold, even more than it was way back when. I love that. Yes, I love that. And, and she looks great, and she feels great, and changing your diet, as much as reluctant as we are sometimes, people think that you don't get help, that like snacks aren't good, or snacks, healthy, healthy snacks don't taste good. So we're here to prove you wrong about that. Today. Absolutely. So what are we making today, Deanne? Today we are making a chai spice snack mix. This is something I take with me when I travel, but during the holidays, it is great to take to a potluck, it is great to serve at your own parties, and even to give as gifts, and we'll show you how to do that. I love that. Yeah. Okay, so this has a lot of, it looks like a lot of ingredients, but it really is super simple, you guys. So it is one tablespoon of ghee. Now, if you don't know what ghee is, it holds up some ghee for you. This is just clarified butter. This one has a little bit of Himalayan peach salt in it. Clarified butter is so much healthier for you than actually regular butter. So um, this is my favorite brand, and we'll put all the things in the in the video below. Um, in the comments, you'll see exactly what products we're using. But this one is fourth and heart, and we're going to use one tablespoon of ghee. Yes. The next thing we're going to use, and anybody who knows me knows that this is pure maple syrup. So you want to make sure that you're not buying those brands. That, are, that, that don't say pure maple syrup. Now, you can choose. You can do grade A, you can do light syrup, dark syrup, whatever color maple syrup you want. Um, this one's just an organic maple syrup, grade A. But please, please start using the pure maple syrup. Don't use the stuff with all the corn syrup and sugars and, and all of that in there. We want you to use healthy And you know, sugar. I am such a sweet tooth, and I was amazed at how I can create tasty, satisfying food, and substituting the maple syrup for sugar was a game changer. And it is completely natural and absolutely get the purest you can find. Exactly. Then we're gonna use some raw pecan halves, about half a cup of these. Yes, and I love Trader Joe's. That is my go-to for nuts um, of any kind um, because they are raw, you can get them raw, and they're really inexpensive, and they're very good quality. These aren't like pieces. Make sure you get the halves, because we want that nice crunch. Oh, they're really good. <laughs> yes, they are. Okay. Then we need one tablespoon of chai spice. So how do we make the chai spice? So I raided Nicole's pantry, and she has a fantastic spice collection, and I found everything I needed <laughs> for this chai spice mix in your pantry. But here's the thing, I'm gonna go through everything for a chai spice mix. If you don't like something, take it out. Add a little bit more of what you do like. You mm, could substitute definitely. pumpkin pie spice. Of course, this is like pumpkin spice season. season. So you can use pumpkin pie spice. You can just use cinnamon. It is really yours to customize to what you like. But for my chai spice mix, here's what I do. 
We do two teaspoons of cinnamon because I love cinnamon, a teaspoon of ginger, that's my favorite. A wonderful spice, and then half a teaspoon each of these, okay? We have ground allspice, ground nutmeg, ground cloves, and then this is a little secret ingredient, ground cardamom. Love it. I yes. have cardamom tea. Yes, that is delicious as well. So you guys, I'm gonna tell you, a lot of our recipes are for AIP compliant. This one is more for reintroductions, when you've done your reintroductions. So if you are on AIP, you know you can't have nuts and you can't have some of, you can't have the cardamom spice because it does come from a, take it out. Easy. Um, so um, this is for reintros if you're on AIP. If you're not on AIP, autoimmune protocol, that's okay. We have a lot of people who aren't, but for those who are, I just wanted to give you a heads up. And all I did was I put that in a little bowl and we need smell of it. Is that amazing? It's amazing. And we're just gonna use about a tablespoon of that. There'll be a little bit left over. You can put it on oatmeal, in your smoothies, whatever. I love it. Our next ingredient is pistachios. Oh, are these already like? These are already shelled. Shell. Okay, yes. perfect. And these so are no lightly shells. salted. Yes. No shells, and they have some Himalayan salt on that, them, so they're super fantastic. I love how it says wonderful, um, that's the brand. Wonderful pistachios. Wonderful, yes. wonderful pistachios. So, yes. And they are wonderful. One of my favorite nuts, you guys. Then we're gonna use, um, I don't know, a third cup of Hue Dark Chocolate. Now, if you don't know what Hue Dark Chocolate is. I love these. I eat them straight out of the bag. Yeah. I have to be honest. Me too. So I'm gonna <laughs> actually read to you a little bit about these because this is one of my favorite. This is my um, guilty pleasure at night. Right? Oh, yes. So sometimes after dinner, I'm the girl who wants a piece of chocolate. So this is a perfect little piece of chocolate. So first of all, I gotta show you what they look like. They're adorable. They call them gems. They're little For gems. For a reason. Look, I don't know if you can see that, but look, they're little teeny gems. They're not. They're, so, they're just delicious. They're just I'm really just gonna eat one right now. They're, they're just kidding. So what's fantastic about this brand, Hue, is Get Back to Human, which I love. Um, they're dark chocolate, they're organic, and they're paleo. So there's no refined sugars, no cane sugar, no sugar alcohols, no um, erythiol, is that how you say it? Erythritol. Erythritol, I think. something like that. Yes. Um, stuff that we don't want to put in our body. Um, no soy or gluten, no palm oil, no lecithins, and no emulsifiers. Hello, perfect, and it's 70% cacao. You introduced me to these. Game changer. Yes. So they're organic cacao, organic unrefined coconut sugar. So you guys, coconut sugar doesn't spike your sugar levels like regular sugar, cane sugar does, um, and orga organic um, cacao butter. So that's all that's in this. So these are fantastic. So these are my, I'm telling you, these are my guilty pleasure at night. So the magic number for me is three. So I literally will take three of these, and when I'm resting for the night or watching TV, if I have a chocolate fix, three of these do the trick. Perfect. And then last, what else do we have? Oh, now these are fantastic. We have a third cup of unsweetened dried cranberries. Unsweetened is the key, and I find these at Trader Joe's. It is so hard to find unsweetened cranberries. I was I so happy when I found these. All right, ready to put it all together? Let's get cooking. All right. So the first thing we need to do is use a small skillet. Now I'm gonna take the ghee and the maple syrup okay. and the pecans. And if you can hand me that half cup measure. Half cup measure, we're gonna go over to the stove. There we go. I'm gonna grab the camera, we'll meet you over there. Okay. All right, so Deanne is getting ready to um, start the pecans and we're just gonna put them in a small little skillet. So we're using how much ghee again? A tablespoon. A tablespoon of ghee. You guys, ghee smells to me like um, popcorn butter. Popcorn butter, it totally does. And we're using a non-stick skillet. This is actually a ceramic skillet. Oh, it is. Because we don't want to use Teflon in the kitchen. Thank you for that reminder. This is yes. ceramic, thank it you. It is ceramic. So ceramic doesn't peel, crack, or chip, so you don't have to worry about getting any um, heavy metals or toxic metals into oh, your system. That is a great point, thank you. This is a half a tablespoon, so I am just doing two of those. And we're so gonna we're start this on medium low heat. Okay. All right. And we're just gonna melt that ghee and get that incorporated with the maple syrup. That is gonna take just a minute to melt. And while that is melting, I'm actually going to measure out our pecan halves. We're doing half a cup of those raw, unsalted pecan halves. And I love 
doing these, we're gonna end up with like a candy pecan, like with nice. just wonderful spice on it. Um, and I love these, you can, I love these in the mix that we're doing, but it's also great just kind of on their own. Um, and they cook up so fast. And the thing about, if you've never um, toasted nuts or um, made candied nuts yourself at home, it's kind of hard to mess them up because you will know absolutely um, when they are done because they become so fragrant. Um, and at that point, you wanna pull them off the heat so that they don't burn. I love it. Yes, we don't want don't want to burn our pecans. So I'm gonna stick my head in here. So when Deanne and I met, we never thought we'd be a match made in heaven. And we become <laughs> we have become really good friends really over the have. years. Yes. And so one of our loves is we both love to be in the kitchen. Yes. So a couple years ago in my old house, yes. I had a I Christmas party. And Deanne and I just hopped in the kitchen and we threw together. Do you remember the first thing we put together? Didn't we do mulled wine? Oh, we did do mulled we wine. Did, we did but mulled we wine. Also, but we also did stuffed mushrooms. <gasps> That's right. And so we just had so much fun together. Yes. And we realized that. It's like we had um, like a shorthand. It yeah. was incredible. It like, was really great. Yes. So when Deanne said she was coming to, from Illinois to visit, I was so excited. I'm like, do you want to do a cooking show? <laughs> and she's like, yeah. Yeah. Of of course I do. Okay, so our ghee is nicely melted. So it's okay that it's a little bit separated. Okay, there we go. Got that? All right, so that is nicely melted. Um, it is not quite bubbling. We're gonna pour our pecans right in there. Remember, this is half a cup of raw and salted pecans. And we are going to stir this kind of constantly. We wanna just keep those going, get them all nice and coated with our maple syrup and ghee. And these are going to cook about three minutes. I may lower the heat just a touch. Again, I do not want these to burn and Nicole has such a great stovetop range here. Um, I'm just gonna lower that heat just a little bit. Um, but again, just keep them constantly moving. Um, if you've ever been to like a ballpark and had candied nuts, um, this is going to have kind of that same smell, but so much better for you and so much healthier. You guys, this when we made a batch of these earlier to put in the jar to show you, oh my goodness. I'm telling you, when I said smell a vision, I really meant <laughs> smell. <laughs> yeah, it is it is Your just kitchen incredible. is gonna smell beautiful. Yes. Alright. So we're gonna let these go about three minutes. Alright. And you stir constantly the whole time? I you like to keep go? them moving because I don't want anything to burn. Okay. And again, when you're toasting or cooking any kind of raw nut, you want to make sure that they don't burn because that can happen really quickly. Yeah. Um, so that's why I like to keep them moving, keep an eye on them. You can see there's like some bubbling happening and that is okay. We, we like to see that bubbling. That means that everything is getting nice and blended. And caramelized. And caramelized, yes. Caramelized. Mm. That's why I love using the maple syrup because it gives you that wonderful caramelization, again, with being that healthier alternative to any kind of refined sugar. This is a uh, very hot pan. So you want to uh, be very careful when you are doing this um, to not uh, do not pick a nut out of the pan and try and eat it. <laughs> you need one to be happy with? I think we're good right now. Okay. Yeah, we do have a low flame, but um, you know these do heat up very quickly. Look, I have a little sexy going on here. Oh, look at that. My little, oh, my little like shirt it. just like went and it. showed my shoulder, a little 80s style. 80s, <laughs> 80s is back in style this year, you guys. I love that color on you. That looks so fantastic. It's such a great holiday color. I love getting ready for the holidays. The holidays you know? always makes me so I happy. I know, I know. Okay, so you can see this is, now we have this over, oh sorry, we have this over very low heat and look at how quickly those are cooking. This is absolutely okay. This is what you want to see. Do not be, do not be afraid. Um, this is absolutely what you want to happen. I like everything. Like, don't be afraid. Don't be because afraid. Cooking can be fun, you guys. And cooking with friends is really fun. And cooking really is about community. So, yes. you know, it's who are you cooking for? Even if you're just cooking for yourself, it's still, you are your own community at times. So I want you to think like that. Like when you're cooking, you're definitely cooking for 
you know, for the love of eating, for the love of being your health, the love of being healthy. So that's what we're teaching you. Quick, easy, fun, healing. Yeah, this has taken three minutes. Now you can healing see recipes. that these have gotten nice and dark and you can smell. They are absolutely fragrant. They're like, I want to smell them. I know. So we're going to turn these off. It's important to remove them from the heat, okay? And now we're going to stir in. I'm just going to step over here and grab our cardamom and yumminess spice mix over here, our chai spice mix. And I'm going to put in about a tablespoon. If you're not really accustomed to chai spice, you can use a little bit less. We've tested this a couple of times. We thought a tablespoon is perfect, but you know what? You can start with two teaspoons if you want. Hey, Deanne. Yeah. Um, oh my God, smell this. Just it's take a nice so... and pale right now. When that heat, when, when those spices hit the heat. It's amazing. Something magical happens, I'm just saying. It is magical. I have an idea. What's that? Um, how would you feel about me putting this in my cookbook um, as your recipe. Um, I would love that. Having a, having a guest little thing in my cookbook. I would love that. Cookbook's coming out soon, guys. So, I, <laughs> and this is just such a fun little snack. So I would love that if, if that's good with you. I really wish you could all smell this right now. It's amazing. I, I'm just, I'm in heaven right now. Everything is really nicely coated. We've got that nice dark brown color. That's those chai spices getting nice and a little bit cooked, actually, um, in our hot Love pecan. It. So um, we are going to put this out on a piece of parchment paper. You can put it out on the counter. You can put it on um, a baking sheet. We just want this to cool before we mix it with our other ingredients. Okay? Alrighty. All right, here we go. I know. Let me grab some parchment. Look at this gorgeousness. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So yummy. So yummy. Now, while these are still warm, I want to do one final thing. So our pistachios are roasted and salted. So now we have cooked pecans, wonderful candied pecans. I just want to hit it with a teeny bit of Himalayan salt. So you can use Himalayan salt or you can use sea salt. Oh, this is sea salt. Perfect. Either one. Either one. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now we're going to let these cool. And then what we're going to do is we're going to mix it with the rest of our ingredients. All right. All right. So what are we putting together? So if you can measure out three quarters of a cup of those wonderful pistachios, I'm gonna do a third of a cup of our unsweetened cranberries, and a third of a cup of our, say it to me, is it who or hue? How do you hue, say it? You like human? Like you, okay, I say human, so I'm gonna say you. <laughs> you know, human? I say human. How do you say it? Human. You <laughs> You know, this is like, all right, I'm dating myself. How do you say O-P-E-N? Open? 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 I don't know how you have an extra letter though. Oh my gosh. It's, I think it's a tomato, tomato kind of thing. So apparently I say human. Human? Human. I say human. And I say open. And I say open. So there used to be an old commercial with Mervyn's and the girl would be the get lady would be at the window and she'd be like, open, open, open. And my daughter would crack up at me because she's like, mom, say it again. <laughs> <laughs> so I say things weird. All right, that's okay. So that's about three quarters three of a cup. Quarters of a cup. Yeah. Um, there you go. And that's the other thing. Play with the proportions. If you want to play with the proportions, it's fine. Um, this recipe is really easy to double or even triple because the proportions just work that way. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go grab our pecans. So I'm gonna kind of start stuff. mixing these. Oh, you got okay. it. I got my magic spoon today. My favorite little spoon. These might be a little bit warm. Uh, in real life, we would let these cool completely. Let's just get those all in there. Unless we can just put them right here. There we go. Do you actually use that spoon? Yes, I love it. Really? Nice spoon. See, I would make it just a display spoon in my kitchen, but you know. Deanne would leave the that's tag a whole on. Another, I would leave the tag and on. And this would yeah. be her display spoon. You guys, I use my happy <laughs> spoon all the time. You see me using it in all the videos. Okay, use your happy spoon, mix that up. Oh, this smells so good. 
Use the spatula okay. a little bit. Let's use spatula. You know, if I was actually using this a little more, I would probably say spray it with a little bit of um, okay. olive oil cooking spray or coconut cooking spray. Yeah. And so the spatula is actually working a little better with the stickiness of the with the pecans. Of the pecans. Oh, oh, can I, oh my can gosh! I so I've eliminated almost all plastic from my kitchen. Mm -hmm. And again, that is down to you. What about silicone? Silicone is fab fabulous. There's great. no BPA in it. It's great for you. So yes, silicone okay. is great. All right, so silicone spatula is on. Yes, excellent. Do you want to hand me that little jar? So this is something, like I said, I will put this in um, a container, take it to the office, stash it in my desk for a little nosh during the day. This is a wonderful pick-me-up because it's got the indulgence of the chocolate. It's got kind of that sweetness of the cranberry, but it's also got the protein. Protein from the nuts. From the nuts. You guys, having a piece of protein um, in the afternoon is a great pick-me-up. The other thing that is a great pick-me-up, just as a little tip that really has nothing to do with this, but I'm gonna give you a great <laughs> little tip. If you are the type of person who wakes up at one or two or three in the morning to go to the restroom and you can't go back to sleep and you're up for usually an hour or two, you usually are having a cortisol spike. So we want to keep your cortisol levels down. So the best way to do that is to eat a piece of protein before you go to bed. Okay. So nuts are a good thing if you can eat nuts on your on your um, diet uh, or your eating plan or whatever you want to call it. Um, then eat some nuts. Or I everybody knows I love chomp, so I eat a chomp sometimes before I go to bed. Eat a little piece of chicken. Some, it doesn't have to be a big amount, just like an ounce of or two of uh, protein. But eat an ounce or two of protein before you go to bed so you don't have those sugar spikes so you mm -hmm. can sleep throughout the night. Can we show this one? Oh, first of all, I want you to try one of those pecans. I'm going to grab a spoon as well. Oh, should I not have taken a piece with my fingers? No, I just to help get it in the thing. Okay, put it in. But try can I one. Taste it. Taste it. Taste one of those. One of the nuts or can yeah. I add a cranberry? Just add everything. Just make okay. just one of each. So I'm just taking one of each. Yes, and you can just like, feel the hurt either. Oh, I dropped part of the hurt. Pardon my mouth. Right? Oh. Right? Oh. That combination of flavors oh. is unreal. It's perfect for the holidays. Oh. Right? It definitely is born in the cookbook. So, oh my look goodness. how gorgeous. I don't know if you can see on camera how gorgeous this is. Like, the, the pecan are beautifully glazed and shiny. And you've got some colors of the season, right? The the green of the of the pistachio. Okay, whatever. It's this is this is truly or, an organic cooking show, right? Um, you've got the colors of the season with the green of the pistachio and the red of the cranberry. And like I said, when I travel at the office, put this out on your buffet table when you're hosting a holiday party. And then here's what I love to do. Here's what I love to do, Nicole. I take mason jars, and you can fill up mason jars and fill up. Keep this on hand. These would make great hostess gifts if you're going to other to someone else's house. Um, keep these on hand at home for just that lay-by gift. Right? You know when the great Aunt Margaret brings her best friend Susie's best friend's brother's sister to your party, and you don't have a little something? This is a little something. This is a little something. Mm -hmm. And it's delicious. It's nutritious. It's mm -hmm. delicious and nutritious. And it is party ready and just you. look at this. Look what Nicole is doing. I love this. You guys, this is just like a five by five or six little square of fabric. It's got some Christmas colors here. So you put the lid, like the sealy part of the lid mm -hmm. on the jar. And then you're just gonna lay, and you guys, I you could use like a pinking shear and make it pretty if you wanted to, you don't need to. So you're just gonna lay it on the top and center it. And then you're gonna screw your Pop on. I love that. And look how cute this is. Here's what we did earlier in a little bit larger jar. Mm -hmm. And we just tied it with a ribbon and we put a tag on this. Tag on there. And Deanne's like the ribbon queen. So here's a little I, bigger I, ribbon. I love embellishing gifts. It is one of my it is one of my gifts. Um, but I also wanted to say if you don't have fabric, don't stress about it. Don't worry about it. You could use tissue paper. Oh, you could use you could totally tissue, tissue paper. paper. Would be easy. Here, can I just get your finger like right there? Um, yeah, a little piece of double stick tape would be fabulous on this, but uh, we're gonna go with what we have. I love this ribbon that you bought. That is so striking to go with the polka dots. All right, let me grab some scissors. 
This is from Nicole's very well stocked kitchen. Give that a little snip. There we go. And wait till you see you guys. Just a little ribbon. Super cute. Cheers. These Cheers. are so cute. I know. Great little gift. I love them. So we will put the recipe below. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the button, share it with friends. You guys, get this out to everybody. We want you to have healthy, healing, amazing, easy recipes. Yeah, thank you so much. This it is, is so much pleasure. Fun. I can't wait to put this in the cookbook and have Deanne Marie's name next to it. Yes. So that will be great. And Deanne, you do have your own website. I do. So before so we forget, I want to tell you, Deanne has her own website. And wait till you hear the name. So it is an everydaygoddess.com. So I'm Deanne Marie, an everyday goddess. Check me out at an everydaygoddess.com. How do you spell it? Dan, A N, uh -huh. everyday, E V E R Y D A Y, goddess, G O D D E S S. Awesome. Com. And we'll put it below in, in the comments as well. Check Deanne out, an everyday goddess. She's definitely a, not just a friend, a goddess in my life. And we want you to have such a fabulous holiday season and enjoy, enjoy your friends. Enjoy your community, enjoy your church, enjoy whatever's around you that is so important to you. And this is like one of the best gifts that somebody can give me. It's just spending time with some of my dearest friends. Absolutely. So thank you so much. We hope you have good vibes. Bye. Bye. Bye.